A cyber hacking group with global reach hit a Canadian target today. Its focus, the federal government's controversial internet surveillance bill and some of the country's top cops who support it. The CBC's Natalie Collada has the details. Joe Coteau tries to log in, but can't. It's a violation and nobody um, wants to, to, to see that kind of personal information out there. Hackers disable the Ontario Association of Chiefs of Police website. Usernames, emails, passwords, all posted online to protest the organization's support for Bill C-30. It certainly proves that th these types of crimes happen. Uh, that uh, the potential to be a victim uh, is not um, limited to individuals. The bill would allow authorities to monitor all Canadians online. Last week, the minister responsible for it was targeted himself. Hello, Mr. Taves. We are anonymous. Over the past several days, we have been watching you. Splashed across the internet, Public Safety Minister Vic Taves' private life. Details about his family and his divorce, exposed by a group that says it's adamant about anonymity and privacy. Technology experts say today's virtual attack could be just the beginning. They have an army of people who are across the world with varying skills. They could be former engineers, they could be former employees of uh, major corporations who know the back end way to steal data and to post it online. Experts say whoever took down this website did it to prove a point. But those fighting the bill say stunts like this aren't helpful. OpenMedia.ca is one organization mm. lobbying Stick against the legislation. Like They're Stop. worried that the tactics are overtaking the real debate. We want to make sure that that issue stays, you know, about the bill and not necessarily just about anonymous attacks. The police chief's website will be fixed in the next couple of days. The debate Canadians are having over Bill C-30 will take longer to resolve. Natalie Collada, CBC News, Toronto. Now, the Ontario Association of Chiefs of Police website isn't the first law enforcement site to be targeted by hackers. Anonymous has claimed responsibility for attacks in Boston and Salt Lake City, where police say personal information about confidential informants and tipsters was accessed. All right, let's turn overseas now.